students often ask me where do I begin my research and this is usually after they've used Google and Google Scholar, Wikipedia, you know, websites like that and they still aren't finding what they need. You know, what they really need are the hardcore engineering, uh, really technical, really scientific papers. And for that, I recommend that they use a library database called Compendex. You start by going to the library website. This is the URL right here. And once you're there, you go under search and locate and search the databases. Now this this provides you a link to all of the databases we have, and there are hundreds of them. You can search your database by title. You know, in this case, we know we want Compendex. We can go ahead and search that. You can browse by title or browse by subject. And there is one specifically for ME. I recommend you just kind of take a look at some of the resources that are geared toward your discipline. Let's go ahead and search for Compendex. And you can see it's Engineering Village is the name of the interface, but the database we're searching is Compendex. And it's kind of cool because we can also search for Inspect, which is more of an applied science, applied physics, uh, electronics, things like that. Uh, we can search them both simultaneously and, and, and get more results. Let's go ahead and enter a term that's um, popular right now, ethanol and fuel. You search it just like you would Google, and you get back about 3,000 hits. And that's really just too much. You know, it's too much to work through. Let's go back and refine our search. And there's a couple different things we can do. Um, you know, what I really recommend is adding different keywords. You know, so let's say we really want to look at efficiency. And if you're in a rush, you know, I definitely recommend that you limit it to journal article, because while you know, Compendex is great at providing conference papers and reports and things like that, but sometimes those are hard to find. A really good collection of ASME. You know, if it's an ASME conference, it's very possible, very likely that we have the print. You can just ask me about that, and I can help you with that. But to get started, let's say you really want to do a journal article, and let's limit it to English, and then you can do what do you want? The last 20 years, the last 10 years. Let's go back and just let's just do the last couple years from 2000 forward, and let's search. You know, this should cut down our hits a lot. We're getting 157, which is still probably a little bit too much, but um, you know we'll work with it. Over here, it'll show you uh, the, the breakdown by the database. It'll show you some of the major authors in your search, their affiliations, universities, or um, companies that they work for. And this is really cool because it gives you some controlled vocabulary. What that means is these are other terms used to index the articles. So you merely, you know, maybe I want to look at energy efficiency, or maybe biomass, or fuel cells or you know, hydrogen, you know, it gives you a lot of other terms to use and shows you uh, the hit counts of how many articles fall in there. It gives you some classification codes as well as countries, things like that. So let's say, okay, here's an article, you read the abstract, you can see what it's all about, again it gives you those terms. Let's say you want, you want this article, you know, it sounds good, what you do is you hit this find it at GT button, this will bring up a menu and it's showing you it's available in full text here's the takes all the information the volume the page all that information and all you need to do is click go and you'll get the you'll get the text if it if this full text is not available here you'll have to click on this button for find it in print which means it'll check our shelves to see if we have it um, here in the library and if that doesn't work out, then you have this interlibrary loan option, which means we'll obtain it or attempt to obtain it from another library. You know, depending what it is, if it's a conference or or a technical paper, um, that's a lot harder to obtain than you know maybe a journal or something like that. So, in this instance, we got the full text. We click go, and sometimes it takes a little time because it has to go through one database to another and eventually it comes up and you can see we can get the full PDF right here or I can look at it with text and graphics and so that's how that's how I recommend people start research um, using Compendex and again you can get you can access this from off campus anywhere you can get online access you just use your GTG ID information and log on in alright so if you have any questions let me know